What's good, YouTube? This is 300 Pounder coming at you with another MTG EDH Commander deck. And today we're going to be going over my build of Ishkana Graph Whittle. Because, uh, I mean, who doesn't love spiders? Uh, when Ishkana Graph Whittle is in her battlefield, there are four more uh, card types uh, in your graveyard. You can put three, one, two green spider creature tokens with reach onto the battlefield. Uh, and then. Uh, for six in a swamp, you can target opponent, lose one life for each spider you control. So basically, you're going to be wanting a swarm. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, Ishkana, this is that. So we're going to do the lands first. Uh, let's see. It's five, uh, ten swamps. So ten swamps. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, sorry, I didn't count them ahead of time. I was just Let's see, ten, fifteen, nineteen forest because spiders are generally green. So that's twenty nine. Uh, then we got some non basic lands. We got ghost quarter, grim backwoods, and swarm yard. Uh, Swarm Yard is one of the most expensive cards in the deck. It's like ten bucks right now. Uh, so, uh, so these five uh, just add a colorless to your uh, to your mana pool there, um, and then uh, Rogue's Passage uh, is four tap creature can't be blocked this turn. So they usually come pretty good. Uh, next we got two double lands, uh, just, well, not really double land, it's like swamp or forest, and this one is swamp and forest, so, uh, Lena War Waste and Golgari Rot Farm. Uh, next, uh, Command Tower, any color, no point in going into that. Uh, Tranquil Thicket is, uh, out of forest. And then these three are at a swamp, so that's like 36 uh, lands uh, so far. And then we got Gugari Signet. So, uh, next thing we go into artifacts here. So, we got uh, Obelisk of Erd, uh, just. Uh, Choose a creature type, creature you control, it turns out good to too. So, Spider. Uh, next, uh, Illusionist Bracers is whenever ability is equipped, the creature is activated. It's not a mana ability. Uh, that ability you can uh, copy. So, basically, the uh, spawn tokens with uh, Graph Widow. So, you just copy that. Uh, next, a Clutch Card, Door of Destinies. Uh, whenever you play, uh, spell the chosen type. So, you could Spider. Uh, or a creature or whatever, uh, you get the plus one one. Uh, let's see, uh, Conjurer's Closet, at the beginning of your next, or at the end step, you can exile a card you control and return the card to the battlefield and you control so you can exile Ishkana and then bring it back for more spider tokens. Uh, Vigor's Banner is, uh, choose a creature type, creature control, the chosen is plus one. And whenever you cast a spell of type, then you can draw a card. So every time you throw it down a spider, you draw a card. Uh, set of Ancestry, discard your hand, draw a card for each card you control with a uh, four to, it's four to play and then four to tap it for that effect. So uh, with this Kanan spawning token spiders, then you can just, uh, you know, draw a lot. Uh, next expedition map is Sacrifice at Tap 2. Uh, re search for a land and then put it in your, uh, in your hand. Uh, Swift Foot Boots is basically haste. Uh, Thrand Animo is, uh, cost four, but tap for three mana. Uh, Cage Stun, uh, choose a color, green, plus one, one. And then whenever a land ability you add or one more, the chosen color, you add. So with all the stuff that, uh, Adds the green, then uh, you can uh, get an additional one. Uh, next, a uh, Stronic Resonator 
uh, copy target ability control. Choose a new target for the copy. Uh, next creatures, non spiders are Elvis Mystic for green mana, Acidic Slime because it's death touch, and then you can destroy a artifact, enchantment, or land when it enters the battlefield. And then uh, Sakura Tribe Elder is a uh, search, and then basic land uh, put on the battlefield. So another search. Uh, next, we're going to go into the spiders here. So. Uh, all the spiders do have reach, uh, so flying's not an issue. Um, so Stinger Fling is whenever it enters, destroy a creature with flying. Uh, reach and Death Touch with Kissig Recluse. Uh, Kicker Orin Recluse, or Recluse uh, destroy a target creature with flying uh, for each time it was kicked. Uh, next, Source Gap is Reach. Uh, Arachnus Spinner is reach and it allows you to search an Arachnus web uh, from your graveyard or your hand and then put it in your hand. Next, uh, Goliath Spider is reach. Uh, Giant Spider's reach. Light Widow, reach. Uh, Somberwald Spider is reach and it also has Morbid, so whenever it's battlefield with two 1 1 counters on it, if a creature dies this turn. So you kill something and you can bring it back or whatever. Uh, next, Giant Spider. Wait, um, okay. So I have two Giant Spiders. So I'm gonna have to swap one out. Um, so, uh, just ignore that one. We're just gonna switch out for another spider. Uh, next, uh, Blight Widow. Uh, Reach and Infect. Uh, when it deals damage, creatures, uh, in the form of 1 1 counters. Uh, okay. Uh, Sky Snare is Vigilance and Reach. Uh, Soak Lash is Reach and then X24 Spider deals damage to flying with those. Um, next, Grave Robber is Reach and then uh, 3 Swamp gets a XX counter for the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Uh, Wooly Spider is basically when it blocks, it gets a plus 0 2, so it's going to be a 2 5 blocker. Uh, and he doesn't have reach. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Canopy Spider, reach. Just worded differently. Ribcage Spider is reach. Um, Deadly Recluse, reach, and a touch. Hmm. Did I? No, that was Kissig. Okay. Uh, Gloom Widow, uh, reach, and then can only block creatures with flying. Uh, Arc Weaver is Reach Trample. Netcaster Spider is Reach, and then whenever it blocks a creature with flying, Netcaster gets a plus 2 0 till end of turn, so it'd be a 4 3. Uh, Sentinel Spider is Vigilance and Reach. Uh, Hitch Claw is Reach. Uh, Acid Web Spider is Reach, and then when it enters the battlefield, you can destroy target equipment. Uh, next, uh, that's it for the, uh, the spiders there. Got about 23, but it's going to be 24 whenever I swap that guy out with somebody. Uh, next, uh, Crop Seagull is uh, beginning of the turn, just uh, mill the top card of your deck, and then you can sacrifice a turn to return one creature and one land from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, so basically you just keep ditching, so that way you have four for uh, Ishkanah when she comes out. Uh, next, uh, Leyline of Vitality is when you... If it's in your opening hand, you can automatically start the game with that on the field, but it's a plus zero one, and then uh, you gain a life whenever uh, a creature enters the battlefield. Uh, next, Arachnus Web. Basically, uh, can't attack or block, and its a, activated abilities cannot be activated. But at the beginning of the end step, its power is four greater than destroy it. The most uh, expensive card in the deck is Parallel Lives. Basically, uh, bring one or more tokens on the battlefield, you double that. So Ishkanah, instead of three, you get six. Uh, salt Formation. Uh, basically, uh, you only use it for the creatures assign their combat damage equal to the toughness. So, it, you know, let's do this one for short. It'd be a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2-4. Next, Overrun, just for the 3-3. Uh, three, three. And trample. Uh, cultivate uh, two basic lands. 
searcher. Uh, Kodama's Reach is two basic land searcher. Explosive Vegetation, two land searcher. Uh, spider Spotting is put a one, two green spider creature token onto the battlefield for each card in your, or each creature card in your graveyard, and then you can flashback. So you can cast from the graveyard. Uh, Haro, uh, additional cat, additional is sacrifice a land, but, uh, it's search two, uh, basic lands, put them on the field. So this is two for one. Uh, Golgari Charm is all creatures get neg one, one until the end of turn. Or destroy target, enchantment, or regenerate each creature you control. Um, so regenerate. Uh, next, tower defense is plus zero, 05 and reach. But we all know spiders have reach, so it doesn't matter, but the uh, plus 5 defense. Uh, Hero's downfall, uh, destroy a target creature, planeswalker. So with the new War of the Spark, that might uh, be more useful than not. Uh, beast Within is destroy target permanent. This controller creates a 3-3 green beast token. So you can destroy one of your spider tokens if you wanted to. Or uh, just something stupid that your opponent has. Um, second Harvest. Uh, for each token you control, put a token onto the battlefield to copy. So double your tokens. Uh, go for a throw. Destroy uh, target non-artifact creature. Uh, abrupt Decay. Uh, can't be countered, and it's a story target non land permanent, whether it convert mana cost three or less. Uh, putrefy, uh, destroy target artifact or creature, can't be regenerated. And then Windstorm, uh, deal X damage to each creature with flying, so X is the, uh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah. Um, so that. Is it for a spider? So this deck, as is, uh, is about a uh, hundred and five because a paralyzed is fifteen, swarm yard is ten. That's twenty five right there. So if you knock those out, you know you could play for eighty, um, but with various other five dollar cards or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's my deck right now. Uh, just like you, I found out that I'm playing two copies of Giant Spider, even though it wasn't that good to begin with. Uh, but there's not really that many spiders to choose from. I think there's only like 40 or 45 or something. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys uh, liked that video and learned something about uh, Ishkana, the Graf Widow. If you're looking for just something new to play and scare your opponents with spiders, because everybody hates spiders. But anyway, we'll 300 pounder, and we'll catch you all next time. <laughs>